In today's video, we're going to be talking about a lot of luxury hair brushes and combs. And at the very end, I will show you my top, very, very inexpensive hairbrush, as well as the tool that I use to keep all of my hairbrushes free of hair. That's also very inexpensive and very easy to use. So let's get into it. I have a video where I went really in depth on Mason Pearson um, that I did last year uh, with the history of the company and all that. I won't be getting that in depth on this one, um, but we're going to be covering actually more brushes and combs than I did in that one. One reason Mason Pearson brushes are called the Ferraris of hairbrushes is because celebrities and celebrity hairstylists are just wild about them. In this article in British Vogue, Rosie Huntington Whitley talks about the Mason Pearson brushes when she talks about how to curate your handbag. Jennifer Aniston's hairstylist Chris McMillan lists it as one of his favorite hair brushes to use. He says it's a true proven classic that he can smooth out anything with and he uses it mainly to brush out curls or hot roller sets and he can't live without it. All kinds of reviews are always saying it's the best investment for your hair. And you can find all kinds of wonderful stories about people who were given a hairbrush when they were young and how it lasted them 50 years and the stories that the hairbrush could tell if it could talk. So it's just a brush that has such reputation at being a real workhorse and beautiful. So let's get started by looking at the different sizes. We'll look at Mason Pearson brushes first. So this is the popular size. This is the largest size that they make. This one is 50% boar bristle, 50% nylon. Uh, this is probably my favorite because I feel like it always gets through your hair. You get an amazing scalp massage, but you also can smooth nicely because the boar bristle is in there. Um, this size is the handy, and so it's kind of medium size. This one is all boar bristle. I like this a lot, like if I'm smoothing my hair it does feel very good but you know, if you're trying to really get through your hair the boar bristle alone I mean it is stiff but it is just a little bit kind of softer than having that nylon in there with it so um, that would be the main difference but I enjoy this and use it all the time also then the smallest size um, this is the pocket size so this is great for your um, for your handbag or just, you know, if you just want a smaller one, and of course they're less expensive, so they're a little bit more budget friendly. Um, this one is their nylon one. Uh, so they do make an all nylon one if you have really thick hair, um, or, you know, this one is also all nylon. This is the one they call the detangler. I don't quite know what the difference is. I think, you know, these um, pieces are a bit longer than on the smaller brush. Um, but because this one is specifically for detangling um, and it does a great, great job. Here's a close-up of the three different types of tuft, the pure boar bristle, boar bristle and nylon, and nylon. I don't use any of these brushes with heat, by the way. Um, I, I just, I, they don't rec recommend it and I, and I don't. <laughs> so that's maybe one reason they've held up so long. But you hear stories about people who've had their Mason Pearson brushes for 30 years or more. They were gifted to them when they were eight, now they're like 40 and they still use it. Um, but they hold up really, really well. And then just to show you a little comparison with the different types, these are all three pocket sizes. You know, this is the 100% boar bristle. This one is boar bristle and nylon, and then this is all nylon. So again, you know, the, the nylon is probably the stiffest, you know, the mixture, you know, medium, and hey, like Goldilocks, <laughs> right? We've got, we've got kind of three flavors here. Um, this one here is the softest. So, you know, again, but it's not soft. It's not like, okay, I had a Moroccan oil, um, they have hairbrushes too, um, and this is probably 10 years old, uh, but their boar bristle was so soft, like I felt like I was just barely scraping the surface of my hair, you know, like you couldn't get in. This one you can get in, but you have to push a little bit harder than with the mixture or the nylon, where with the mixture, again, it's just kind of perfect. It just goes right through all your hair, and it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of wonderful. And I think because it stimulates your scalp so much, my husband, I finally got him to try him, he's like, oh my God, I need to use that. It's it feels so good on my scalp. I think that probably helps too, right? Circulation. So, um, and then again, this is just the uh, the medium sized one in the boar bristle and the mixture. So um, again, handcrafted in England. The company's been around for like a hundred and something years. And if you want more on all of that, go to my other video. I will um, link it down below. Now let's look at their combs. Their combs are actually, I don't think they're too, too terribly expensive because they are solid. They are all made from what I understand from kind of one piece of this 
you know, resin or plastic or whatever it is. I have three different kinds here. Um, the cones come, you have in a little package like this, and um, here, what they say is it's made by hand using traditional techniques which produce smoothly tapered teeth and rounded tips for more comfort and care. And they have several other kinds. I just have these three. Um, this one here is the tail comb. This is the styling comb. And then this one is the rake comb, which is really good for detangling. Um, so I really do enjoy these. And they are so smooth. There's no jagginess. Like, have you ever back combed, you know, with a with a comb and you kind of felt like it was kind of wrecking your hair because it might be rough in between? These aren't like that at all. So I really like those. Oh, and one thing that comes with the larger sizes of Mason Pearson brushes does not come with the little pocket ones, but it comes with the handy and the popular is this tool. And you're supposed to, like, if you want to wash these, you're not supposed to, like, dunk these in the water and scrub them. I mean, I guess they'd survive, but you know, technically what you're supposed to do is put this into soapy water and then you, know, you can kind of clean the brush with it and then you know, kind of rinse it off and then let it dry. Um, but you can also pull hair out with this thing, but it doesn't work as well as the other tool. I use this kind of for the final last little hairs kind of thing, um, but it, the bigger ones come with this. So um, that is Mason Pearson. Now this is Rain Cry. I had not really heard of this brand before, but it's beautiful. They hand paint these all in France. So they're very beautiful. Um, one thing I noticed is that where they have their name, it looks like it's screened on top. Um, whereas Mason Pearson, um, there's an indentation here, it feels like. This feels like, you know, it's actually, they have the gold lettering, um, you know, it's not gonna wear off as fast. I mean, maybe this won't wear off, but I mean, I've had this for years and years, and you can see a little bit of the gold going away, but I can still feel the um, embossing or debossing. I don't know what the right term is for that. So um, that is one difference. Now, when you um, use this, this one is 100% boar bristle. Um, I feel like it is very, very similar to the Mason Pearson in getting through my hair. Um, very, very similar. Uh, you know, and really it's almost feels kind of like it could be a dupe for it. Yeah, because size-wise, it's really just a smidge larger uh, than the Handy. So if you look at them side by side, just in case you were comparing these. And then I believe this one, I'll put the prices down below here so you could compare the prices. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll put another code I have down there below. I often have a code that works for 25% off. Oh, and it's all affiliate codes, by the way. And I did buy um, I bought about half of my Mason Pearsons and then half were sent to me and then this was sent to me also by Skin Store. Um, so I, it's just kind of funny that I was a customer of theirs for so, so many years and then, um, you know, down the line when I started my YouTube video now, um, you know, sometimes we got to work together like this. I think that's really kind of fun um, because I really love the company. Okay, brush story. Okay, this is my daughter <clears throat> Danny, by the way. Brush story. We were, we were in San Diego. San Diego. We were in San Diego to move me in. She let me borrow this brush. And then like a week later, she's like, go back to the place and check if I left it. Well, because I thought I forgot it there. I didn't realize when she borrowed it, she'd put it into her toiletries case and absconded with it by accident. Um, <laughs> so I look at the, the house and it's not there. And I was like, oh, I think you lost it. And then she was like, she was sad. <laughs> was so sad. She was so sad. Oh, it was actually, Denny, it was, it was, uh, this one. Oh. Because it was my all boar bristle this one. This one. The all boar bristle. The boar only all boar bristle. bristle one I had. I bought this like, I don't know, I several didn't years ago. And, it. and then I accidentally found it. It wasn't in my makeup bag or anything. Or it, I thought it was. It was in like my backpack. Oh, backpack. Okay. I thought it was in my backpack, like the bottom of my school backpack. Don't know how it got there. I don't, I thought I'd get back to her. And I kept forgetting to get bring it home. Like for months. Like I saw her three times. But yeah, and then you're back home. Here, so brush your hair with it. Here, it's a demonstration. You can brush your hair right now. Let's see. So tell them the difference. Actually, this is kind of good. The difference between the feel of that, that's all boar bristle. Okay, this is the mix, boar bristle and uh, nylon. Hey, look. Ooh, look how pretty shiny. And on your scalp. Try both of them on your scalp too. Ooh, I like this one. How does this one feel on your scalp? I didn't reach my scalp. Here, try that. This now, one's softer. Okay, now I want a comparison of this one, because that's all boar bristle, to this brand. Maybe the other side of your head with that one. What, did you feel a difference between these yeah. two? Yeah. What's the difference? I feel like this one goes through the knots better. That's the Mason Pearson? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, there we have it from uh, a, another source. Okay, and here, try the detangly one. This is uh, all nylon. 
hair tangles. Especially in this sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It doesn't hurt. Thank you for uh hey, you're done. In. I'm done. Or I'm done. Bye. Bye. Ram the door. Bye. Let me show you the packaging for the Rain Cry brush, by the way. So this is what it comes in. And then they give you a little bag. This is just one of those kind of, I don't know exactly what this is made of, but it feels just kind of, you know, like a you know, little bag thing, which is kind of nice. I kind of wish there was some sort of a case to put these in because I don't want to damage them because they are not inexpensive. Um, and then the Mason Pearson brushes, this is just the brush for the little mini ones. Um, Skin Store just sent me these little, two little guys um, for this video because I wanted to show, um, I had this little one, the pocket sized, but I didn't have an all bore bristle and I didn't have a um, mixed one so that I can show you all three. They come in a, in a box like this and then the large ones, like I said, they come in obviously a bigger box because they're a bigger brush with one of these in it too. Um, so that is what I want to show you for these brushes. And I really think they make a difference. They feel so good on your scalp. And they're a great gift for a man or a woman, or even a child, a responsible child who won't lose their hairbrush because you don't want to lose in these. So I think that they're just kind of fantastic. So now let me show you my very favorite inexpensive brush. Uh, this is the Tangle Teaser. These are two colors. Uh, I actually found this totally by accident. It was in a PR package that was sent to me uh, by Aquas. Uh, they do hair towels uh, that are fabulous. They really dry your hair so nicely. They're hair towels and hair turbans, but they're really special fabric that um, really helps your hair stay smooth and really sucks some, the water out so it dries faster and you have to blow dry less. But anyhow, um, so I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And the thing is about these, they're like a wet brush. I used to be a big fan of the wet brush, wet brushes, and I'm still, they're still very good. I like them, but um, those tend to kind of like wear out and a little balls fall off and I don't know. I feel like you have to replace those like every single year. I've had this one for like three or four years and when my hair is wet, um, I mean, it really is nice to go through and it's they're really kind of soft and very, very gentle. So you're looking for a very inexpensive solution and Skin Store actually does sell these. They do sell these, I'm pretty sure they sell these. Um, I'll link them down below. And they're like, I think they're like $15 or something. So they're really inexpensive. Again, it's a completely different experience than using you know this to detangle your hair. But you know, if you want something to throw into your swim bag or just, you know, you're not ready to spend, you know, like $80 on a hairbrush. This is also a great solution. And the other thing I wanted to show you, this is by, um, is it Olivia Garden? Yes, I just wanted to make sure because I've had this for probably like, you know, 10 years. You can kind of tell it's kind of trashed. Um, and there are some little hairs in it, sorry. But um, these just rake through and grab the hair out of any hairbrush. You just, you kind of do this and it grabs it. And then you can just, you know, there's a, you know, bigger side. I kind of always end up using the small side. Uh, but again, I feel like this is like a $15, definitely under $20 item and it'll last you forever. I've given this as gifts before because it's just so, so handy. So, um, I just want to share all these, you know, great hair care items with you and hopefully it's something that you'll get for yourself and enjoy, or maybe you've just found a great gift for someone. Um, because I mean, a hairbrush is something that, you know, a fancy hairbrush, you might not buy for yourself, but if someone gave you one, wouldn't you think that was cool and want to use it all the time? I know I would. I had been eyeing Mason Pearson brushes for years before I finally bought myself one, like gosh, what, so I'm 54 now. So I was probably like close to 50 before I bought my first one right and then I liked it so much I bought my second one and you know then you know this is now expanded because I've been doing videos about it um, but really I would love to hear your story. Do you own Amazing Pearson Brush? Let me know down below. Do you have a story behind yours? I love the stories of ones that were handed down from a mom or gifted at a young age or stuff like that. So would love to know. Tell me in the comments. Anyhow, um, I will put codes for everything down below. Hopefully they'll save you some money. And um, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and join my community. That'd be fabulous. And give this video a like if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.